hi all welcome to a new video so today we are going to see algo trading part 2 so in the previous video we have seen how we can download the UiPath studio and how we can configure and also we have seen how we can create our own automated trading system using UiPath so today we will be seeing how we can develop our own UI board to do our task automatically so this can be either used for for a trading purpose or also this can be used for any other uh, process which you want to automate so basically today we are going to see so as per my process what I have done is so first I'll open the charting website and after that I'll download the Excel from the charting website based on the screener which I have developed and after that I'll close that particular charting tab and after that I'll read the Excel which was downloaded from the charting website and once I read the data after that I'll just delete that particular Excel and next step is login to the kites website okay and after that whatever the stock which was read in this particular Excel that will be passed to the uh, kites actually so all those stocks will be passed to the kites and a trade will be taken on all the stocks which is filtered out and which is available in this particular excel and after all the process this particular kites tab also will be closed so these are the different steps which has been created for actually satisfying the process which i have developed so today we will see how we can develop this from scratch so let's start one by one so the first step is to you need to go to the you need to click on this new option here after that you need to select a flowchart so you can give any name for your flowchart so in this case I'll just say automate underscore trade so I'll just give some random name here and after that I'll say create so as you can see now a blank page has got created so this is from where our process starts actually so uh, based on my process the first step what I need to achieve is I need to go to the charting website and I need to download the Excel so let us see how we can achieve that so for that you can see here there are different tabs here so if you go to the projects tab you can see the projects which is already active so as you can see this was the one which we created and this is the existing one which we have already seen that so this is a project tab where we can see all these details and you need to switch to the activities tab where you can see all the different tools which can be used to automate the process so the first step is that we need to open the charting website so for that we need to use this particular tool that is open browser so you need to drag and drop it over here okay after that you need to connect this particular process with this start actually so for that you just need to click here and just do it like this just drag and drop it over here so now as you can see a connection has got established so uh, in the process which you are creating this is the first step which will be executed okay basically what we are trying to do is uh, here we are going to open the charting website right so you can just change the name here so you can give a uh, you can say open charting so which makes it easy and uh, we can easily understand okay what this particular process is going to do and after that if you see here there is a option for browser type so there are different browser types so you can use any of them so in this example I'll just use uh, edge so I'll select the browser type as edge so the next step is to give the URL of charting website so uh, the URL needs to be entered inside the double quotes so first you need to give the double quotes and give the site name that is charting.com so now the first step is completed uh, it's like so once when we execute this we should be able to see the charting website which will be opened so uh, now let us just see whether uh, this is working or not so for that you need to go here under this debug file and just say run file 
so now as you can see it is working actually so the charting website has got opened so now we have completed the first step so that is opening the charting website so the next step is I need to click on this dashboard option here so for that you need to double click on this option here so as we can see there is a do option here so inside this this is where we can develop the next step which we need to achieve to ensure that it is always in a maximized window so for that we have a tool called so you can directly search it over here actually so maximize window so you just select this and just add it over here so now as you can see once the charting website is opened next it will execute the maximize window option here so automatically the window will get maximized so once the window is maximized the next step is to click on this dashboard option here so for that we need to select click so you can see there is a UI element mouse click option here so you need to select this and just drag it over here so once you select this this is having a predefined option like indicate element inside browser so we need to indicate the particular option which has to be clicked so that we need to uh, let this particular option know where it has to click actually so for that you need to click here in and you need to highlight which option you are going to click so here you need to select this so this is what we are going to click so select that option and just click again so as you can see that particular dashboard option has got captured over here so now let us see let us click and see what is happening when we click on dashboard so as you can see once we click on the dashboard these are the options which is available to us so I need to select one of the screener which I am going to execute okay so now let us see how we can do that so it's almost the same how we did for dashboard it's the same thing we need to again take this option that is mouse click and same thing we need to do indicate element inside browser so in this case I'll be taking this of this screener that is buy green so I'll just select this so as you can see that option has got captured over here now again let's move on to the browser and let us see what happens when I click on this so as you can see this is the next page which comes up when I click on the screener so based on the screener these are the stocks which has got filtered out so basically I want to download this data in a excel file so basically I need to click on this excel button so same thing we have to do again you need to just uh, take this click option just drag and drop it over here after that indicate element inside browser and you select this one excel so that's it as easy as that so now what happens is if I click on this excel you can see that the excel is getting downloaded okay so this is the first step what we are going to achieve so now let us see whether whatever we have done is working or not so for that let me first close this okay so we have completed until downloading the excel so I'll just go back and I'll save this so our project has got saved so if you open it again so what happens is the first it will open the charting website it will maximize the window and it will go and click on the dashboard after that it will click on the screener then it will download the Excel so this is the process which we have developed so uh, just for your information so if you notice something that when you go to the charting website it is not asking for a login actually so I have already kept my charting website logged in and uh, it is always logged in in my system that's why it is not prompting for a username and password so now uh, let us see whether whatever we have tried to do now whether it is working or not we click on this debug file option here and say run file now it's getting executed so as you can see the charting website has got 
loaded here so next it should click on the dashboard option yeah it clicked on the dashboard option next it will click on the buy green new screener after that it should download the excel yes so it has downloaded the excel so this is how it works so we successfully created our first step that is opening the charting website and downloading the excel so now let us just add one more thing so if you notice something that once the excel is downloaded still this particular web page is still kept as open here so i don't want that so what i'll do is i'll just say close so if you type close here you can see there is a close tab that is it closes the browser tab so you just need to drag and drop it over here and you just need to connect these two okay so now we'll it will open the charting website it will download the excel once the download is complete it will automatically close the browser that's how it should work for that you need to create a variable actually so just click on this variable option here so as you can see i have already just created just you can give any name here actually so i just given dt browser and you need to select the type so you can see there is a ui path core browser option you need to select that and after that scope scope should be like this particular variable uh, scope is inside this particular like this is the file which we created this is the project which we created so the scope will be inside this particular project so this variable will be available throughout this particular uh, project that's why the scope is auto automatically selected here so once we created the variable you need to assign that variable to this particular ui browser so i'll say dt so if you type dt automatically it pops up here so i'll select this dt browser okay then the next step is to again go back here and in the close tab also you need to mention the same variable so basically what we are doing here is we are saying okay which particular browser we are trying to close so say for example in your project you have multiple steps where you are opening different browsers so the system doesn't know which particular browser you need to close right so for that purpose we are saying we are declaring a variable and saying okay this particular variable belongs to this particular browser and we are asking to close that particular browser which is having this particular variable so that's how we are trying to relate it let us execute and see how this is working so before that you need to save this project after that you go to debug file and run file so the charting website is getting loaded now and clicks on the dashboard option then clicks on the screener and after that it should download the excel and this browser window should get closed so now what happened is that when we were trying to download the excel it was taking some couple of seconds right so before this download was completed we actually tried to close the browser so that's why we are getting this pop-up like it says your file is still downloading so now let us see how we can resolve this so for that what we need to do is just go inside this and there is a property called delay so you just need to add this here and you need to mention the duration here just make it as uh, 5 seconds why because sometimes uh, it takes some time for the excel to get downloaded so i have made it as 5 seconds so delay time i have changed to 5 seconds and i'll save this now again let us just try executing this so again the charting website is getting loaded program clicks on the dashboard it select the screener after that it should download the excel so it is downloading the excel 
so we have set a delay of five seconds so now our program has successfully completed our first step okay so this is how you can create your own uh, bot actually like you can automate your own process whatever process we can do automate using ui path so the video will be too lengthy if i start showing you all the steps so the remaining steps like uh, how we can read the excel which we have downloaded just now so remaining steps we will be seeing in the next video so i hope this video was helpful and uh, thank you for watching